Starch will explode one out of here to deep. It is such a great feeling, a very special feeling for me, particularly as I, I look around and I see so many people who have inspired me, who've pushed me, more importantly, who's trusted me. And I think this is one of the things that baseball has afforded me the opportunity to, to rub shoulders with so many fine people. We are approaching our 17th annual event, and when we started this 17 years ago, the idea was let's just roll and see how far we can go with it. And I remember, well, I think year five, the owner of the Pirates then, Kevin McClatchy, said to me, you know, every golf event has a shelf life, and this might be your year to say we're done. And we got through the fifth and said, not quite, maybe we'll make it to 10. And when we got to 10, we just said, we're not setting limits. And here we are at year 17. And this is a, an event that's bigger and stronger than it's ever been. And I'm so, so thankful to the sponsors and celebrities that come out every year for this event. As far as assistance um, from Willie Stargell, it's been a big help with access to medications, um, transportation, uh, not just local, but to appointments, medical appointments out of town like Duke, UNC. Um, in particular, it's helped one of my patients to get a prosthesis after um, a recent amputation. Um, it's also helped a patient actually that was not able to get a transplant locally fly to another um, state to get a transplant, which was successful. So definitely opens up a lot of doors for our patients. Oh yeah, Willie Stargell uh, Foundation paid for my, my round trip ticket to go um, you know, from here to, um, you know, uh, I think I, I flew into O'Hare and, and, and back. Um, I had friends to stay with, uh, but what I needed uh, was, um, you know, uh, the trip itself uh, and to be able to go out and be assessed for transplant uh, and then I ultimately ended up um, going out um, uh, just a few months ago uh, to um, Tucson and Willie Stargell uh, paid uh, my flight there so I could uh, get a transplant uh, in itself. So it, it played an essential role in my uh, getting this stuff together because so much insurance and, and stuff just doesn't pay for things like flights or you know housing and all that sort of stuff that's just it's missing in our health insurance industry so often and and that just plugged in one of the gaps that i had trying to put things together uh, to be able to go out and and succeed in you know getting off dialysis and living again i didn't have the assistance from Willie stargell uh, foundation i would have to raise money while sick you know a sick person going out trying to do uh, what's necessary and this just made life a lot more a lot easier uh, to have Willie Stargell there uh, for me and, 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 and having that, that fund available. Katie uh, benefited from the Willie Stargell Foundation greatly, um, one of our biggest impacts I'd say. Um, she had a amputation and was hospitalized for some time um, and Willie Stargell actually helped to get her a prosthesis. The social worker that's now working at DeVita is named Katie as well. Um, and she was the one that put me in touch with the Willie Stargell Foundation. And she got me the application and told me all about it. I filled out my application and lo and behold, they were able to pay for my new prosthetic on the left side. They were able to pay half of that cost, which is amazing. More than I could have expected, honestly, because if I was responsible for the 20% that Medicare doesn't pay, I, I'd probably still be paying on it for 10 years. So it was a huge weight off of my shoulders. The last hospitalization in New Hanover Regional, I had to dialyze obviously, so they took me to the dialysis floor and I was laying in, in my bed and I looked over on the wall and I saw a Willie Stargell plaque. And so I asked the nurse, um, you know, what that was all about. And she said, they donated every machine in here, everything we need, we got from them. And it was all top of the line. 
It was all beautiful. The unit is very small. It's only about nine beds, but everything is just gorgeous. And so it was a, a surprise to me there too, how much they're doing, more than I ever knew. And I'm new to Willie Stargell, so it was, it was a nice, nice thing to see that. Every machine that's in the Willie Stargell dialysis unit has been purchased through the Willie Stargell Foundation, and they are state-of-the-art machines. They're the best in the world, and we know that we're raising money to help those patients in those beds have a chance at living. These are my two sons. Uh, I've been, well, Kamali and Marshall. Marshall has been in my life since, ever since he was 16 years old, and now he's uh, just, uh, well, we'll be turning 21 in April. Kamali has been in, um, been in my life a long, a little bit longer, but uh, he would have been permanently with me uh, when he turned 15, and now Kamali is 24. And here we are. This is a story, um, a glorious story about, you know, the kidney transplant. Yeah, well, a couple of years ago, uh, Kamali was diagnosed with uh, stage four uh, chronic kidney disease. And so we'd been, uh, he was supposed to go on dialysis. And uh, as his kidney function kept getting lower and lower, um, he needed a uh, donor, and so Marshall um, said that he wanted to be a donor, and come to find out uh, Marshall has the exact same blood type and the exact same kidney match. Miracle. It, it really started after, uh, you know, going to Greenville after the storm, Hurricane um, Florence came, and, uh, you know, we lost a home, do some damages, and then we had to, you know, live with family, and but you know we just kept moving, kept going, doctor's appointments. But this let, it, but this was perfect for me because this is something I was going to do, and with me being the exact blood type match for my brother, it was I knew it had to do something with a higher power. Uh, when I first found out that I need the kidney, um, basically you know everything just stops. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you just found out your kidneys are not functioning. At first, yeah, I was shocked because that's bad news on top of itself. You know, being young, you're supposed to be, you know, unstoppable, you know what I'm saying? Feel that way anyways. Yeah, you feel that way, but when you hear news like that, it's, it, it hurts you. And yeah, it's been frustrating, but after my, bro my brother came in the picture, we found out we both got O negative uh, blood type, and we got everything situated, and uh, he was going to be my donor, so I was super happy. I think during that time period, I was just gonna wait to like be in the list and this is when he showed up and said, I'll give you my kidney. So I'm like, I, I tried to talk about it just like, uh, you know, any other brother would, like, you don't have to, you know what I'm saying? This, I'm gonna wait on list. He said, mm -mm, I'm giving you my kidney. So I'm like, okay. The Willie Stargell Foundation is awesome. They made, uh, made a way for us to go to, you know, to be with Kamali at the hotel, they pay for our hotels, the, you know, our food. I mean, finances was kind of tight. So I'm so thankful for the Willie Stargell Foundation. Yes, um, I got um, some emails from um, Margaret Stargell. She got, she texted me and told me that she wanted to help my family, you know, with some finances or expenses we had. And yeah, Margaret Stargell, she's awesome, awesome, awesome lady. Um, I like to thank all of y'all. Uh, for you know, paying for the hotel, donating, uh, helping us so my family can be there while I get my kidney transplant. I'd like to thank all y'all. So we've seen a tremendous growth in the need to allow for funding for individuals. And in doing so, we get to see these individuals, know where the money is going to help these individuals. And I know that's what Willie would want because all of the monies raised are with the purpose of being able to allow those who are living with kidney disease to still have a continued quality of life. And that's what we're doing and why we're doing it. I've dedicated my life as a social worker to these patients and um, it is amazing to see the change in their life that the Stardell Foundation has made. And um, everything you do, all of your fundraising efforts, um, have made a huge impact. I've worked in several states and um, until I came here I've never seen any kind of foundation help like this. 
um, and just having the knowledge that I can go and get $10 and give to a patient to help them. Um, it's just it's just amazing for me to be able to do that and um, the patients really appreciate it the staff really appreciates it and um, you make a huge difference I, I wish you could actually see that difference but I can tell you it makes a huge difference every little bit helps um, and just please keep doing what you're doing and donating and um, you're changing lives you really are and I think that's what commitment love and desire means to all of us to get something that means an awful lot that's going to allow you to share in the communities to get there and show how you care about the things that you're fortunate enough to do and there's other people who are less fortunate giving it all boils down to the people that we come in contact with I am so incredibly thankful to everyone that comes in every year for this event weekend from our sponsors, celebrities, board and committee members, volunteers, and certainly my family, many of whom come from long distances to be with us every year. I am so incredibly thankful. I know that if Willie were looking down and smiling, and he is, he would humbly say, thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and it is an honor. Thank you.